Greetings all, praise King Selassie. Speaking about the issue of the term called homosexuality. Homosexuality does not exist in nature. Uh, the problem goes back towards language. You know, if you're speaking with somebody about this and you say, you know, I don't believe homosexuality is natural. You know, in other words, I just don't believe in it. Uh, you know, people may interpret that as you don't like homosexualities, but you never said you didn't like homosexual or whatever you, you want to call it. People that have chosen to live in sin. Um, you know, the issue goes, you know, to whether it's natural or not, right? Um, if, if you have a rapist or a thief, you know, because you don't like rape doesn't mean you don't like the rapist. Now, that might sound a little harsh. But Christ taught us to love even our enemies. And so, I and I carry no hatred in I and I heart. Jealousy is the root of hatred. What do I and I have to be jealous about? You know, but if I and I see something is wrong, I and I is not going to pretend that it's right. really don't have to do that much thinking to find out that two men together is not cool. Two women together to a man, maybe it seems cool, but that doesn't mean it's right. And now you have the parents telling the children, oh, we saw your arm flare up and down. You must be gay. We're taking you to the doctor and getting your penis cut off. I mean, illness, widespread. So, I believe that Satan is real. And just as righteousness is a seed that grows from within, Satan is a bad seed and sometimes bad seeds are planted in innocent ones. Um, if you give a child a smartphone and say, oh, you know, have fun, um, that child may be getting some ideas that are not orthodox. You know, if you, if you just do a simple search for a simple term in a simple search engine. Um, you know, the images that come up are ungodly. And this is what's being shown to the children. And this is not a coincidence. Uh, neither is the fact that the uh, communication channels fail to disclose this reality. And as much as people are concerned about this lifestyle, they care so much about it that it seems to be everywhere. Um, you know, the media uh, fails to neglect to uh, present this in an adequate format. You get bits and pieces, right? They'll shove it in. Because with the digital communication, they realize, well, we got a population here in San Francisco that accepts this. So let's go ahead and publish it and put it out there. And then nobody says anything. And then they can turn around 10 years later and say, man, these kids have been, we've been cutting their penises off for 10 years. Nobody said anything. And now it's taxpayer dollars. Not only pay for the children to have sex surgeries, but for inmates. So now people are just getting locked up just because they want to you know, grow some breasts. Grow. So, you know, what is real? What is real? What is real? People have 
lost their edge.